Has your office had any contact oh, whatsoever like with the have. PMO? Well, really, don't you think you owe a little bit more to Mr. Norman? Do you feel any personal feelings about this case? Do you feel like maybe you were used a bit? The Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. I am standing outside the courthouse in Ottawa where this morning Vice Admiral Mark Norman was set to continue his lengthy trial. He's on charge for one count of breach of trust. A little bit of background on that. He was the number two at the Canadian Forces and when Stephen Harper's Conservatives were replaced by Justin Trudeau's Liberals, well wouldn't you know it, a Liberal Cabinet Minister from the Atlantic came to Cabinet with a letter saying, you know that shipbuilding contract contract that Harper gave to Quebec, yeah, let's give it to our Liberal friends in the Atlantic instead. Well, this is meddling of the First Order. Not only was it not the best firm, but it would cost taxpayers $89 million to cancel that contract. Well, Vice Admiral Norman didn't like that one bit. He mentioned it to the Quebec Shipbuilding Company, and apparently he mentioned it to the media as well. This is commonplace in Ottawa, where leaks are the currency. At least six other people in Ottawa leaked that same news. But only Vice Admiral Norman was suspended and prosecuted for a crime. The crime of breach of trust, of course, generally is when someone is corrupt, when they're taking a kickback. In this case, Vice Admiral Norman was actually the opposite. He was trying to stop the politicization of procurement. He was a public interest whistleblower, and so, of course, Justin Trudeau had him prosecuted. And when I say Trudeau, it was quite eerie because at least on two occasions, long before Mark Norman was prosecuted for anything, long before he was charged, Trudeau was telling the press that he may well be, that he would be prosecuted. How did he know? And of course, Jody Wilson-Raybould has not been allowed to speak about this matter. She has not had her confidences, cabinet confidences waived. Anyways, I was coming to Ottawa to live tweet the trial when last night the Public Prosecution Service, these are the same folks Trudeau was trying to lean on to let his buddies at SNC-Lavalin off the hook, they announced there would be an important announcement today. Well, and indeed there was. As you can see, here is their written statement, which they elocuted upon in court. They received information from Mark Norman's legal counsel, Maureen Hanane, that caused them to believe that no prosecution was further warranted. And so this morning, they dropped the charges against Mark Norman. Incredible. After a two-plus-year ordeal, the man walked out of court free, but not quite free. An enormous legal debt. Marie Hanane, one of the best criminal lawyers in Canada, surely charged a fortune. Well worth it. She got the man off the hook appropriately. But it was one of those rare cases where the government of Canada did not pay for the legal fees of a government officer who was charged for something they did on the job. $10.5 million was available for Omar Khadr from Justin Trudeau, but this Canadian hero had to pay his own freight. Well, let me cut now to when the prosecutor came out of the courthouse. I was steaming mad that he went through this. Here, listen to the prosecutor and my questions. I was a little frustrated, I gotta tell you. I chased the prosecutor down the street with more questions. Take a look. I can tell you it was information from the defense counsel and from the third party records application. Uh, it's relatively complex. I can't get into the specifics, but I can tell you that it did uh, call into question um, whether or not we could prove the serious and marked departure, which is something we must prove in a breach of trust case and prove it on a very high standard. Don't you owe it to the, don't you owe it to, don't you owe it to the Canadian public to explain why all the resources of the federal crown were put against this person, and in the end you dropped it. Can you please explain what new evidence came to your light? Obviously, all the resources of the federal crown couldn't have brought that to light to you earlier? This was a very complex case, I would say. It's uh, the information, I ca cannot get into the specifics of that information. The defense counsel gave it to us under certain conditions. Um, for our purposes only, but I will say that um, absorbing it, comparing it to investigative materials, we came to that conclusion that there's no reasonable prospect of conviction. It's a, uh, it's a complex legal charge and the information, um, it was important to us. We had some information, we didn't have the entire 
How do you say what, what, what do you say to people who think that this might be politically motivated? That there was saw that uh, I can tell you there was no political interference in this case. How could the you The Department have of you, can you Public Prosecutions decided to lay the charge, and they decided today. We decided alone, no political interference whatsoever, that we couldn't make the charge. Did the government not give you exculpatory evidence before you prosecuted? Who withheld that information from you? The, there's no such thing as this one piece of exculpatory evidence in a case like this. How did you not it's have it? It's a complex breach of How trust. did you not have it? We did have it eventually. Did you not have the resources to find Thank it in the you. first place? Can you speak French, ma'am? Uh, Can you say a few words? sufficiently. Where the documents coming from, PMO? So is it over? I mean, detail? is this case over? Just to, to clarify, and, yes, and how yes, many? Can, 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 can you explain? Why did you not explain what the exculpatory evidence was since you smeared him publicly? I mean, his name has been blackened in public. Why will you not tell us what information has caused you to drop this? You, you were happy to throw mud. Why don't you tell us what the detergent was? Sir, the uh, Defense Council has provided the information on certain conditions, and I can't discuss Right, but it. you're the one who smeared him in public with this two-year ordeal. Why will you not tell us why he's free to go? Don't you feel an obligation to his reputation? I tried to explain that in court as well as I could. Has your office had any contact oh, whatsoever with the ask. PMO? Well, really, don't you think you owe a little bit more to Mr. Norman? Do you feel any personal feelings about this case? Do you feel like maybe you were used a bit? No, don't you think you were used a bit? No, we did our job, sir. Well, I was mad, but in the end, that prosecutor did do the right thing. And in the end, justice was done. You see, it wasn't the prosecutor that was to blame here. It was the federal government that has withheld key documents from Mark Norman and his defense lawyer all along. The fact that it was Marie Hanane that pro provided that information to the prosecutor to make her say, yeah, this case is a stinker, is actually proof that the system was working. Now, I think that she has an obligation to reveal those facts that set Mark Norman free. She refuses to, and she didn't have any personal comments, but I was quite mad when I asked her those questions upon reflection. I think that actually she is a bit of a hero here herself. She refused to continue a prosecution that was so evidently and so obviously illegal. I'll have more on this story. I'll go now to a press conference by Marie Hanane and Mark Norman himself. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.